in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything you need to know to rank up inside volleyball. Let's jump right into it. Okay, guys. Um, first thing you need to know is... Is this square right here is the only place the ball hits where it can go in it's not like a black hole you can land there just do not let the ball touch there now if the ball does touch there that is how you get a goal this is just basic knowledge about the game mode and uh, everyone should know this you do not score a goal if the ball touches the floor here or anywhere on this blue pit blue part it's only if the ball is touching the square if you skip any part of this video you could be missing valuable information so do not skip at all for max efficiency step two here to becoming a master volleyball player is the most important part of volleyball is something you guys might not even know it is these blue things right here that I'm on. These things two in the entire map, one here and one here. And let me show you guys what they do. This is the most insane thing about volleyball. If they touch this blue thing, it bounces them up. Now, you have to use this to your advantage on both sides so that it can bounce really high in the opponent's net. I know you wouldn't think of this, but you can use it on the opponent's net here to bounce it up and get like a purple shot on the opponent from above. Or you could do something like that to hit it over the net barely and make sure it goes in. Like these blue things I'm gonna call them bounce pads. Bounce pads are just insane in this game mode, and you really need to learn how to utilize them as fast as possible. But you should let them bounce there as often as possible. Step three here is you really, I mean, you really gotta know some mechanics to be good at volleyball. And by mechanics, what I mean is, I mean, you need to know how to purple shot. You need to know how to gold shot. You need to know how to normal power shot. And you need to know how to stall reset. Those four right there will carry you all the way to at least plat. Wait, you don't know how to stall reset? I have a tutorial on how to stall reset. I'll link it in the description and right here in the top right. If you click that link, in less than five minutes, you will already know how to stall reset. Now. For step four, what you want to do is, this is tips for kickoffs, all right? So if you're behind the player who's next to the net, I mean, right here, like in this kickoff position, you're not going to go for kickoff. It's like hoops. You're going to stay back and defend just to make sure that the ball doesn't touch your side. But if you're here, you want to go for kickoff. You want to... You want to get the ball on the opponent's net. And here's how to do this. This is my kickoff in the recent hoops match. Here is one more kickoff, more like a play that I really thought was epic. Now, the last tip I want to give you guys here is going to be this wall right here. This wall, as you can see, the ball cannot cross through. It's like a laser wall. And, um, but the different thing about it is your car can go through it. So you should use that to your advantage. If your car can go through it, you should be using it, like, all match. Instead of flying, unless, you, if, unless it's on the roof high, you should be defending here, just like in normal volleyball. If you ever play volleyball, then you would know there are always people on this side and then there are people up front hitting them in, on the opponent's side. If you enjoyed this video and you got better and you hit a, a higher rank than you would think you ever would, 
inside swipe then please hit the like subscribe turn on notifications really mean a lot to me we're trying to grow to 100 subs by the end of march so please subscribe thank you bye